microtransactions confirmed for Halo Infinite and 343 taking the necessary precautions to make sure that the PC version of Halo Infinite is a fair experience. Stay tuned throughout the entire video to get more detail. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you some more Halo news updates here. Like I said earlier, we got some confirmed microtransactions happening with the next Halo game and also strong anti-cheat measures being put in as well. Nothing specific, but uh, job openings have just been released uh, from the Microsoft page and it's very interesting so if you guys like these news information videos please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this helps spread the news information as well so more people get to stay in the know when it comes to halo leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on microtransactions within halo and don't just be inflammatory yeah they're terrible there's some benefits to them as well i can all we'll go into those later in this video and if you want to stay up to date with anything halo related make sure to tap subscribe on this channel as we upload halo awesomeness every time so GameSpot recently posted up this article doing a little bit of snooping when it came to the job ads for Microsoft showing that uh, there have been two specific jobs been created recently for the next Halo game one of them being called an online experience design director which basically within the job title description literally mentions microtransactions for Halo as well as being part of social engagement in and out of the game which is something I think is really key to take note of as well now, I'm sure a lot of people already are just typing furiously on the keyboard. They're like, oh my god, microtransactions, why would you put that back in Halo? It depends how you do those microtransactions. Star Wars Battlefront 2 had microtransactions, and uh, we all saw what happened there. So there's certainly a wrong and a right way to go about doing this. I honestly think that Halo 5's microtransaction rec packs was... You know, it wasn't the best, but it certainly wasn't the worst. It didn't necessarily affect gameplay too much, especially for a lot of people who want that core, hardcore 4v4 experience. It didn't affect it at all. All I did was mess with the customization of your character, which is a shame that happened, yes, but I'd rather have monetized customization and free DLC rather than have to pay for DLC and, you know, get all the customization that you want, but then split the community with paid content. And obviously, in a perfect world, there'd be no microtransactions in the game, there'd be no paid DLC, just continuous updates, and everybody would just be happy. But sadly enough, we're not in those kind of situations because, you know, games are expensive more and more expensive to you know produce and maintain talking about maintaining as well in this job posting talks about uh, how halo infinite is looking to be more of a game for a service model and have some serious longevity with it which i am all for that i think that i think if you honestly if you release a halo game like every five years or something like that but they have continuous updates maybe even yearly big yearly updates with like some minor story updates kind of like how uh destiny 2 did recently with the forsaken dlc you had some some real nice cinematic experiences once every year with a, a Halo game rather than having to just wait till the next story comes out five years ago. Oh my god, what's gonna happen next? It would help keep the game fun, relevant, and just something new coming in every time. So I'm all for this game for, as a service model. And I think it also takes less stress off of the developers as well, where it can focus more on the actual content going into the game rather than actually creating a whole new game once again from the ground up. Now there's certainly something to be said about when it comes to getting rewards in game and using microtransactions as well. Obviously we can go into a bunch of speculation about how to go about doing that but ultimately it's up to 343 and how they want to do it. I have a feeling especially after the entire gaming community took note of Battlefront 2 where a lot of games actually just redid their microtransaction systems and so I think uh, we won't see anything as egregious as that game. I think that one was a real turning point as uh, in the gaming community for microtransactions within AAA games. We're starting to see a lot more games nowadays focus more on monetizing the customization rather than the, the gameplay, which I think is the best, probably the best way to go about it. It's not perfect, obviously, like I mentioned earlier, but it's probably the best way to go about doing it. As mentioned as well in the beginning of this video, that uh, recent position opened up as well for 343 for a senior software development engineer strictly for the pc take in consideration the amount of cheating that can happen on pc i game on pc quite often i don't really come across very many cheaters but that's probably because there's a lot of really good anti-cheats out there and they keep getting better and better and i'm really glad to see that 343 is taking these efforts to make sure that if you get this game on pc you'll have a nice solid experience especially since this is gonna be the first released game on pc for a halo franchise 
since Halo 2. And Halo 2, I think, I believe came out a couple years after the, the game was released on 2004 onto PC. So they're giving birth to this brand new community and they really need to make sure that that experience is solid so then that community will stay on the game. So overall, guys, yeah, that looks like microtransactions will be coming back and, you know, I'm not a big fan of them either. I prefer them not to be in the game. I don't think anybody wants them to be in the game, but I'd much rather have microtransactions done properly i should mention over having to pay for dlc which really hurts matchmaking a lot i remember back in the days when i was playing like black ops 1 and i bought the first and the third dlc but i did not buy the second one and so then that actually made it hard for me to find matches in call of duty during its peak so ultimately i think free updates is the way to go but ultimately when it comes to free updates it kind of gets tied in with having microtransactions and it seems to be a little bit more profitable as well uh, according to an article back in 2006 uh, when uh, the first like HCS event was happening saying, showing that like it made what 1.5 million dollars in like six months worth of time so it's very lucrative and I definitely see a reason why they're bringing it back now when it comes to customization I really hope to see like some way you would have to unlock the uh, item first maybe you earn it in the rec pack first but then it says you have to do this in game to actually unlock it so that you know best of both worlds where uh, earning armor and uh, gaining armor in the game actually means something which uh, armor customization has always been a huge part in halo especially after reach where you really got to customize customize your character to kind of show off your personality of course that's another topic for a whole nother video right there and uh, also, I'm just really glad to see that 343 is taking into consideration that, you know, we need some strong anti-cheat systems in Halo Infinite for the first release on PC in a very long time uh, for the Halo franchise. So I'm really excited about that as well. So hopefully all you PC players will have a solid experience as well as console players. But like I said earlier in the video, guys, leave a comment down below what you thought about the video. You know, if you think microtransactions are like, you know what, it's a necessary evil kind of thing, you can deal with it or you just want it out completely. Um, you know, it's, let me know in the comment section down below. I do really like, read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, find it informational, please make sure to tap that like button. Like I said, yes, it really helps out the channel and get uh, more notoriety. And if you're new to the channel, we'll stay up to date with anything Halo related. Make sure to tap subscribe with the bell. Keep you notified by any time we're doing anything awesome on the channel, which is going to be every time. Check out the videos on the screen right now over here. If you missed any content from me, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.